here we are in Grand Teton National Park, heading down toward Lake Jenny, and the suddenness of the mountains here is, is what's so spectacular. It's basically we're in the flats and not approaching into any more difficult driving, no ups and downs or anything, and there they are, just suddenly shot up in front of you. the biggest lake in the park, the Jackson Lake area, that's where a lot of the activity is, a couple of lodges. Jenny Lake, I think, is a little more um, subdued. trail is leading us down to Jenny Lake which of course uh, has this backdrop of the Tetons and it's the most sought after campground in the Grand Tetons. And there's wildlife along the trail There's Jackson Hole with its own Mountain King Ski Resort in the backdrop. Of course, it's a elk antler entrance to its square. An art gallery surrounding the square. said that uh, we certainly don't want to miss a little, little videotape of this countryside that we're going through. This is an area down in the uh, south, south Wyoming, southwestern Wyoming, right along the Idaho and Utah borders. It's pretty much open sagebrush country, open range, little signs along the way. We just saw a cow in the middle road a little bit ago. There's uh, not a lot else out here other than sagebrush and, and this cattle grade. And the cattle grade coming. Ready? Show. Why did you say we're out here? We're out here because the sign pointed to a rest stop. Behind the sage bush, you think? Cool. Well, here we are in the here we are in the uh, high Uintas. Uintas? How would you say that right? Uintas. Uintas. And uh, the area to our right is a huge wilderness area. And uh, we're up oh about ten thousand, a little above ten thousand, up and down to a few different passes up here. You can see there's a fair amount of snow up here, but I think it's melting pretty darn fast at this point because it's been very nice weather. Um, Do you like these auto pan rafts? Auto pans are great. Here we get one the other way. Oh yeah, we, we didn't have this view looking back. We've been heading up this valley here that you can see now on our right. And we 
may be able to see uh, the lake down there, but maybe not. So, overlook, yes. Yes, indeed, it's the uh, mirror lake that we're overlooking here. There's uh, water flowing from it off the parking lot here from melting snow. Join up with other bodies of water down below, out of the mountains. Very pretty sight. Quite a bit, in the, quite a bit in the way of uh, flowers this spring. Here up in the mountains, these are spring beauties. There's been quite a few more, and I'll try to get a few more on this. Set. Here are alpine, alpine lily or dog tooth lily, yellow version of what we find as white flower in Minnesota. There's been high water pretty much everywhere we've been. This is a little meadow and stream and back to the campground area that we're staying in. You can see there's a tent coming out there in the meadow. There's snow along the road coming into the campground, and many of these sites are being reachable. Because all those little white dots are marsh marigolds. The marsh marigolds are really quite pretty white petals instead of the yellow ones like we have at home. Marshmallows! Marshmallows! Here's the uh, glacier lilies once again. Competition for uh, campsites needs, seems to be heating up here around uh, well, about 6 p.m. on a very fine Saturday evening. I guess the nicest one they've had so far this season. These campsites are just opening up. You can see the snow pile in back of the van here that we drove through to pull into this spot. There's not a really good camp, flat camp spot right where you are anyway, so we don't have to worry about too much about people pulling the back of us to pitch their tent anyway. And there's snow banks all around in the neighborhood. You can see right there, that's a pretty good one. So we've decided we can be pretty comfortable right here since we're just going to sleep right in our van. Aren't we? <laughs> 